Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to talk about what we mean by an indifference map. So, so far we've talked about bundles between which we are indifferent and a curve, uh, which is indifference curve. Uh, so hopefully you are very comfortable with those topics. Uh, today we're going to bring it all together and say indifference map is a graphical representation across all bundles between which you are indifferent and also across all indifference curves. So what we mean by that is uh, hopefully you're very comfortable with drawing a graph like this because you're going to be seeing this, uh, you've already seen it a lot, is one indifference curve uh, we've, we've already talked about. So every point on this indifference curve leaves you equally happy. But indifference map is all the bundles across all the indifference curves. So let's pick some examples. So let's say this is indifference curve 1, and then this is indifference curve 2, and then this is indifference curve 3, and so on and so forth. So you should know what being on indifference curve 1 means, it means that you know point A and point B and every other point on indifference curve 1 leaves you equally happy. You also should remember from last time is that every point to the right of this indifference curve is going to make you happier because you're getting more of both x1 and x2. So points on indifference curve 2, point C and point D are both going to be preferable over points A and B. And then similarly every point on indifference curve 3 is going to be preferable to indifference curve 2, which is therefore going to be preferable to every point in difference curve 1. So these are bundles, bundle A, bundle B, bundle C, D, E, and this whole representation across all these bundles on one line is indifference curve. So in indifference map, now we can relate how we have our preferences across these indifference curves. So we know that indifference curve 2 is going to be preferable to indifference curve 1. You should know that by now. And indifference curve 3, is going to be preferable to indifference curve 2, which then by default is preferable to indifference curve 1. So now we can uh, rank these uh, preferences across all the bundles across this whole space. So now we can, you know, if you pick any point on this uh, space given these, this information, you can tell me whether you're indifferent between those bundles or whether you prefer one over the other. So, all right, so that, that's what we mean by indifference, cur uh, indifference map, sorry. Uh, now what we're going to talk about is how do we actually rank them, right? So, so far all I've said is, I am happier on indifference curve two than I'm on one. But how do we rank quantitatively how much happier I am on indifference curve two relative to indifference curve one is the concept of utility. So here is we are going to quantitatively uh, rank our preferences across all the bundles and across all the indifference curves. So each bundle uh, that you've seen in, in every graph you've seen so far is going to correspond to some number which represents utility. So the easiest way to think about this is uh, if consuming a bundle of two goods gives you a level of happiness of 10, whatever that means, that is the utility you get by that bundle. If there's another bundle which gives you more happiness, then that's just going to be give you a, a, a level of utility more than 10. So you have learned everything you need to know to tell me that this will give you more happiness than this and which will give you more happiness than that and then over that. But now, until now, you could not rank them quantitatively for me, which is what utility does. So if this gives you a level of uh, uh, utility of 10, which is happiness, uh, so far I've just been using the word happiness, uh, now we have an economic term for it, which is utility. Uh, the utility for this will be 9, 8, and 7. So it doesn't matter what these numbers are, I could have very easily have picked these numbers to be you know, 50, 40, 30, and 20. The important part is the quantitative ranking of these utility numbers, right? So bundle, uh, the, this bundle will give you a level of happiness of 10, this bundle will give you a level of happiness of seven, uh, or any, you know, any number, but the ranking is what's important, right? So make sure you have a good understanding of what utility means uh, in relation to each bundle that is possible for us and also across each indifference curve. So let me just do one more thing before we conclude. Uh, so if I draw indifference curves, so what do you think you can tell me about the level of utility on this indifference curve? So think about it for a second and give me the answer until I draw another indifference curve. That's right, so every point, you know that every point on this indifference curve gives you the same level of happiness which means there is going to be a utility corresponding to this indifference curve. Because every point on this line is going to make you equally happy. However, every point on this indifference curve is going to give you more happiness. So now we can say that the utility on indifference curve 2 is going to be 20. 
But again, the transformations are important. The important part is for you to understand that you are getting a higher level of utility from indifference curve two uh, over indifference curve one. So that concludes the topic of utility, which is extremely important. Make sure before you watch the next video, you are very comfortable with indifference curves, uh, indifference maps, what you, know, what you mean by bundles with, be, between which you are indifferent, and now also utilities. All right, so we will be concluding this uh, chapter in the next few videos.